Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing your weekly oracle card reading and we are using the Madame of Endora's fortune cards here. And your options are, we have three options and they are a banana, a persimmon and a lemon. So please go ahead and make your selection and um, go directly to your reading. For those of you who have chosen the banana here, we are asking the question, we are asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? And we have, we have the mystic circle. Your abilities will be enhanced. So for those of you who've chosen this card, I'm hearing that you've actually begun a process in which you've begun uh, healing yourself or you've begun a process or the astrologically you've been supported through something where you are healing yourself or the energies are so it where to support you at this moment you're going through something which is great which uh, cannot be described in words it is beyond words it is beyond experience that we can articulate and it is something that is occurring within you and you cannot touch it. It's just simply there. And uh, it's it, the, the card, what I'm hearing is that you are in the spell at this moment. You are in this. It's like you are turning and, and widening in this, um, in this Gaia. And you are part of this. You cannot extract yourself from it. And there's nothing that you can do to pull back from it anymore. And that it's not a bad thing. It's actually a very good thing that you are part of this and that you are you feel swept away with this because what is happening is um, is not within your control. And it's good that it's not within your control. It's good that you're a part of this, something that's bigger. It's important for you to be to surrender to this experience and to be a part of this, not to understand it, not to be not to necessarily understand it. Uh, that is not what's important. It's not important to control yourself. It's not important to n have a greater understanding of this, but simply to go with this and to know that you're being supported and that this is actually a very important time and that it has begun. This healing process has begun. So for those of you who've been seeking clarity about something, you've been seeking a closure on something, you've been seeking understanding about the situation as it were, because you've been not satisfied with something within your life. Just trust that it has actually begun, that it is a part of your life already, and that it is occurring, even though you cannot see it, even though you cannot measure how the progress of it, it is actually happening at the moment. And the, the, the caption here says your abilities will be enhanced. And that is actually the goal of this process. That is why you're in all of this. It's because you need to go through this change. It's because you need to go through this development, which will bring you out the other end. And that's when your abilities will be enhanced. It'll be something which you will understand the situation better. You'll understand yourself better. You'll have a better knowledge of yourself. You'll know where it is that you've ended off. And so, yes, the process has begun. You're midway through it, or you're just about to reach the midway through it. And just trust, stay in this, and you will come out the other end uh, with, a, with knowledge and with understanding and with great, great capacity and with an ability um, to enhance your life or to enhance a particular area in your life. Uh, you will have developed skills during this process, which will enable you to understand yourself better. I keep hearing that. That is a very important part of this because all of this, what you're undergoing right now, is important for you to understand yourself particularly. Um, and so basically, um, yes, this mystic circle, this card talks about you being a part of this and it's turning and it's you are evolving and you should just trust this. And there are many factors at, at play here. It's as if a greater force has taken you and placed you under a spotlight and is helping your development. Uh, and you need not to worry about it. You need not to think about where you're going. You need not to understand it. You need not to control it. You simply need to surrender to it. Okay, so that is your message for those of you who've chosen the banana. And I hope that resonates with you. And let me know if it does. And thank you all for coming to this reading. Okay, blessings abound. For those of you who've chosen the Persimmon, 
The question we're asking is, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? What is it that we need to know this week? What is it that is important for us to know this week? Or what is it that will help us along as we go upon on our path? And what have we, what is the guidance that we've come here for? And here is the card that we have. Oh, it's love. Okay. So it says true love and fidelity. How wonderful is that? So, so what I'm hearing here is that um, in many of your instances, uh, the, the reason that you've come to this reading is because you're concerned about love. The reason that you've come here is because you want a message about love, even though this is a general uh, oracle card guidance. And that is absolutely okay. Uh, and what I'm hearing is that you exuding love at this moment. But you're also expecting love. You're hoping for love. And the concentration here is to experience love as you exude it. The concentration here is to understand love and your ability to love, your capacity to love. Uh, this card comes about and it speaks of your potential to love, your great, enhanced, beautiful well of love that needs to share and needs to be poured out and needs to be needs to give to others and what i'm hearing is that if you are feeling that you haven't gotten what you wanted in love or that things haven't worked out as you wanted in love and you're hoping for a message that speaks of true love coming your way or that your dreams being fulfilled the answer here is not that the answer here is not yes the answer here is not no either. The answer here is that you are the one who has control over that and you are the one who actually can go ahead and give that love. Love is not about what you receive or about a particular status of a relationship. It is about what it is that you can give. Love is about how you love and that is what you need to concentrate on, your ability to love. Where is it that you are an embodiment of true love and fidelity. I, are, you, um, are you displaying fidelity when you are having a negative thought about that person because they have not uh, uh, given you what you've expected? They have not, they've disappointed you. Um, is that love? Is it, or can you recognize that it's okay to feel the disappointment, but to evolve in love where your love is only about loving another and not about awaiting what you can have with the other. That love is not about the status of the relationship. That love is not about how the relationship evolves. That love is not about what you can have from the other person, but love is actually what you can give to the other person. And that is, in fact, what I'm hearing here. Uh, it's a very stark message about what love truly is and what is your capacity for love and about coming to the realization that love as we understand it to be is not really true but loving is what you have loving is at your disposal loving is something that you can control you can control the love that you give to this person you can actually give up this love you can give this person love Regardless of how they behave, you can send them love. You can love them. Your thoughts must be an embodiment of love. Your actions should be an embodiment of love. Your, your um, attitude should be ex exuding love. And that is what love is. And that is what true love and fidelity is. You only have true love and fidelity when it's something that you can give to yourself. And the only way that you can give it to yourself is if you clear your thoughts of negativity, you clear your thoughts of any bitterness or any disappointment or any expectation and simply love. Love unconditionally, love without expectation and love truly. And when you do that, you are in the vibration of love and that is the purest form of love. Do not await this from another what you can potentially do is embody this love and see what you attract to you thereafter. Because when you are an embodiment 
of this love vibration. It is only love that you can attract to you. Okay, so that was your message for those of you who've chosen the person on. I think it's a beautiful message, and I think it's one of the secrets of the universe, actually. Um, it's something that we all need to come into an understanding of, of as a human race. And when we do that, then we are in a much better state. So thank you for all those who've come by. For those of you who've chosen the lemon, the question we're asking is, what is our weekly guidance? What is it that we need to know here? What is it that we need to know in this moment? What is important for us in this moment, for this week, or for the time ahead of us? And we have the wolf. So it reads, the wolf, beware who you trust. What I'm hearing here is that, do you trust yourself? Are you trusting yourself? Is this something that you need to work on on yourself? Is this something where you feel that you're afraid of being betrayed? That you're afraid that someone else or others may hurt you? Or that you may be vulnerable? in regard to others. What I'm hearing is that this is not so. You're not vulnerable with others, even though the card here says, beware who you trust. The trust that you need to work on is on yourself. The trust that you need to work on is something that you bring yourself in any given moment, where you love yourself enough to be, um, to be the person who trusts others but who's also able to see, who can also discern the moment at which you cannot trust others, the moment at which you need to be aggressive, the moment at which you need to attack, the moment at which you need to protect yourself. What I'm hearing here is that you still need to learn or to better or to work on your ability to, to, to discern your ability to understand when is it that you're under attack and when is it that you do need not you do not need to attack you need to also wash away the fog uh, that surrounds you which is that of distrust okay so look at each situation specifically practice this in the next few weeks practice looking at a particular situation where you feel sad, um, not sad, but where you feel fear and you feel that you cannot trust another or where you feel irritated because you cannot trust another or where you feel there's a potential to be betrayed. Well then, look at that situation and measure it really. Access your intuition. Feel in your gut. Am I under attack here? Or am I right? Is my are my senses speaking to me accurately? Or are my fears clouding my senses and my intuition? I'm hearing that this is really important for you to be able to develop your strength and not simply to have an attitude in which you are um, advancing in the world with distrust, where you distrust many around you and you are constantly needing to protect yourself, you're constantly on guard. You need to walk into this world fearlessly. Be fearless in everything that you do, but also enable your ability to discern when it is that you're not safe and be ready to attack and to protect yourself. And not to attack yourself, but to attack those who may, who, when you are under attack, uh, but to be able to protect yourself when it is that you need to and to be able to do so with all the energy that you have. I'm hearing here that the distrust that you need to have needs to be authentic. And the only way that it can be authentic is when you allow yourself to open up and to walk fearlessly and to feel 
exactly when it is that you are under attack, exactly when it is that you need to take action, exactly when it is that you need to be aware of who you trust. Because right now, as it stands, you are in a state where you distrust a lot around you. You're not sure of what it is that you trust. You're not sure of what it is that you can look at and what is true and what is not true. So it's really about you sharpening your intuitive ability. You sharpening that intuitive sense that you have. You trust in yourself more so that you, you know when it is that you're really under attack. You know when it is that you really need to be on guard and that is what is really important for you right now, to be able to discern when is it that you're under attack, when is it that you're not. Ask yourself, do I have an attitude of simply being distrustful, being aware? Am I always on guard? If you are, then note that you do not need to be. But you simply need to hone in your ability to understand when it is that you need to be on guard or not on guard, when it is that you can trust and when it is that you cannot trust. And so that is the message that I have for you for today. Um, yeah, that is the message that was very clear for me that came through for you. And I hope that has resonated with you and I hope that has been helpful. And I'm wishing you all very well and I'm, yes, I'm wishing you all very well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.